What's up guys, it's me again, Crush Pixel. Suspling recently released his gravity reversal scroll to make the player think that he can reverse the gravity in Minecraft and make the player solve some puzzle maps. And I recreated this and I make, made a filter out of that. So you now can just have your map and using a filter you can just copy and flip it and have a redstone device that automatically does all the work for you. So I'll just show you and play a round of this gravity reversal. This is the map I built. Uh, I forgot to do game rule command block output false. And you see, this is the floor here. And if I reverse the gravity now, I'm up here and now, yeah, it's like reverse gravity. And the balcony that was like this way around. Now it's the other way around. That's great, isn't it? And I just try and jump over there. Then flip gravity, so I'm here. But I, I want to get over there. So what I do now is flip gravity. I'm on the glass. Ah, this looks pretty cool that it's just a reverse gravity. And now I try to get in there. So just flip and move forward. Okay, so I got from down there over this glass to here. This is great. Okay, I want to get over that wall, so I just flip gravity. Yeah, that was the wall. Now I'm here. And in this map, for example, my final goal is to just reach the water. So I'm in. And yeah, that's it. That's what you can do using this technique. I think it's it's really great and thanks to Sethbring. Yeah, th it's just an awesome invention. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool that I wrote the filter and I'll just head over to MC Edit and show you how to apply it. So I'm here in MC Edit now and this is my building. These blocks are pink because these are stained clay blocks and yeah, MC Edit doesn't know them um, at the version I'm at. And so I just select the building I want to flip gravity on. Like this. Now it's all selected. And um, it's important that you don't select the grass on the ground, but just the ground that your map actually has. And then you just go filter, gravity reversal filter, and you hit filter. And that's it. You see it gets reversed. And once I save, um, you'll see the redstone that has been generated too. And yeah, it gets dynamically generated, so uh, yeah, it, it does it for any height that you're on. It m makes other comment blocks, it's pretty complicated. But you can't have a selection higher than 28 blocks. Um, if you have, I'll just show you. It will give you an error message selection too high because there is not enough space for the comment blocks on the building here and I'll just over, uh, I'll just head over to Minecraft again and explain you the redstone here okay so I'm back in Minecraft now and this is the redstone that has been generated and once I move here you see the clock automatically turns on if it doesn't you just have to remove that um, redstone here and it gets activated automatically and yeah these are the command blocks that do the main thing and um, this one here just looks for um for you if you if it can clear a 358 item from you which is just a used map and if it does it activates this um repeater here which sends a, s a signal to all of these command blocks and these look for your for the position you're at and that's what this um, uh, radius searching does here it looks for the position you're at and then teleports you to the block and that's on the reverse building like if you're down there at um, a specific Y position teleports you to the Y position of 20 which is just th like the same position just on the reverse gravity um, map side and if this is successful, 
this repeater send and out this comparator send and output sorry and they activate one of the torches which just give you another unused map and then this T flip flop gets activated so the arrow part of the clock looks if um you get teleported down like this looks for a you at a higher location teleports you down and that's basically just all about the redstone everything you have to do once you're you've run the filter just get in there where your beginning point is and get some empty map then you just start playing and I hope you enjoyed the filter you can as always download it from the Crash Pixel website if the Crash Pixel website is down I added an media, a media file link for you too and yeah that's just how the filter works it was a lot of fun for me to write it and I hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye